zombies have been a pretty big sensation in western media and western cinema for quite a few decades now and in that time we have seen numerous different types of zombie movies tv shows and video games all featuring different types of characters plot lines and different types of zombies from the really small sluggish and slow ones in the walking dead and dawn of the dead to the really fast ones in world war z to the volatiles in dying light all the way to the clickers in the last of us my point being, we in the West have come up with almost a sort of zombie subculture when it comes to our media, right? And as great as all of those movies and all of those video games and all of those creations are, I'm not here to talk about any of them today. I am here to talk about the South Korean thriller TV show called Happiness. And no, that is not an accurate title. It's a very misleading title because there is nothing much all that happy about this TV show. Obviously, there's a few moments that are quite cute and emotional where you just catch yourself thinking, oh, well, that's cute. But like, for the most part, it's blood, it's gore, it's zombies, it's people getting killed. It's a really good TV show. So firstly, I want to talk about the characters, right? So the three main characters, at least from what I can remember and what I've written anyway, is Yoon Sai Bum, Jung Yi Hyun and Han Tai Suk, right? And I apologise if I butchered all of those names. I don't speak a lick of Korean. I'm not Korean at all. I've never even gave a go at learning Korean. I like to think my Japanese is pretty good, Nihongo Jozu and all of that, but my Korean is awful. So please don't take any offence. I am genuinely trying my best. Sai Bom and Jung, obviously they grew up together. They went to the same school. And obviously they have feelings for each other, but it's a very sort of coral detached relationship, even though it definitely improves and they get closer as the TV show goes on. They work for a special branch of the Korean police force called the Special Operations Unit, which is fictional. I did Google it. It's not actually a real thing. And Jung and Yoon, they work together. They're very close. And there's an opening at their workplace. It's basically an advertisement, right, that says there is a new apartment complex building, a high rise building that's basically opened near them. And people in that workplace are being offered the chance to have a free room there if they match a certain criteria. And it basically said that the people with the highest chances of getting the room are workers with the most arrests, newlyweds and people with children, I believe. So they both got a pretty high amount of arrests, but they haven't got any children. So they say basically they pretend to be married so they can get a free apartment room. Now, Colonel Han Tai Suk, you don't meet him until a little bit later on. Obviously, he works for the military, he works for the Korean military, and he his job, he is assigned with finding a vaccine for the infection, right, for the virus. The second thing I want to talk about are the zombies, because the infected in this TV show were really interesting and really well done. But my favourite thing is that they don't even, they don't eat people, nor do they kill people. They actually drink blood, right, almost like vampires. Now, the infected become very, very thirsty, right? And it doesn't matter how much water they drink, how much coke they drink, how much lean they sip. Nothing satisfies it, right? Apart from blood. But the zombies in this TV show were done very, very well. Now, I'm just going to get onto the plot because I don't want this video to be too long. But obviously, the plot is, like I said, Jung and Sai Bom move in together. And pretty quickly afterwards, the apartment complex gets shut down because obviously the infection is spreading across Korea. And they shut down the apartment complex, right? They quarantine it off. You can, no one can get in, no one can get out. So now Sai Bom and Jung are stuck in here together with everyone else that is in the apartment complex. I can't really remember their names because they weren't that interesting anyway, to be honest with you. Aside from Andrew, right? Shitty guy, but really cool. Anyway, so everyone's locked in together. They start by obviously exchanging names, details. They share rations, food, water, etc., etc. But as it goes on things become more tense, the lockdown doesn't become lifted, the infected start spreading, people start dying, fighting. This is something I've noticed is fairly common in zombie movies and zombie TV shows, is it's not just the infected you have to worry about, it's other people. And we see this quite a lot in happiness because, especially towards the end, other people turn out to potentially be a bigger threat than the infected themselves. As everything starts to develop and kick off, Sai Bom becomes infected and so does um, so does Jung later on, but he becomes infected after Sai Bom. Now, what's interesting about this is that after she is bitten, well, she's scratched, she's not bitten. I tell her lie, she was scratched, she wasn't bitten. After she is scratched, she doesn't turn. It doesn't get any worse, right? And she's the only person in history that has done this. So clearly she has some sort of resistance, some form of antibodies against the virus. And that's why Colonel Han Tai Suk, who's my favourite character, by the way, wanted her essentially kidnapped so they could find a cure and 
even though they went about this in a very shit way, obviously you find out towards the end that Han Tai Suk did everything that he did because his wife was dying, she was infected, and I believe she was pregnant at the same time as well. So he needed to find a cure, right, for her and the child. As messed up as he was, you know, the people he killed, the plans that he came up with, the reasoning behind it, I think, justified him. At the start, you know, he's very evil, very dark, very mysterious. You're not supposed to like him. And then at the end, you feel really sorry for him. Jung also becomes infected towards the end. The ending was semi-happy, right? We see at the end, we see Sai Bom and Jung in the car together driving. Everything seems normal. The infection seems to have gone away. Korea seems to be back to how it was, right? So it had a semi-happy ending, right? It wasn't like a Disney ending, but it was, it was a happy ending, right? It was fortunate. I just want to say this TV show was really good. You know, the zombies were done really well. The drama between the characters was done really well. You could see how they went from being sort of close and friendly and understanding to just not trusting anyone. But I believe that's all I have to say for this video. If you haven't seen Happiness, you should go 100% check it out. It was an amazing TV show. It is on Netflix, as far as I believe. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. This is Toshi, signing out.